So he cheated on me, and today we're going to be talking about how I got over it and how you guys can get over it, too. Welcome back to Your Cup of Tea podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Josh Bruckner, and this is also our host. <laughs> I'm the co-host, Katie Bruckner. Are you the co-host? Do we have we're to have like a host or a co-host? No, babe, we're both co- we're co- like We're co host That means like two of us. Okay, so like we're, we're both, each no one's the host. We are, we're both the co-host. Okay, I'm confused. Oh my God, you're making sure me lose brain cells. You guys are confused with that intro. And yeah. today, honestly, before we even get into it, we just want to say like the reason why we're going to be diving into sex, losing oh our virginities, <laughs> um, our cheating, cheating talk. Red flags. Red flags in a relationship is because, mm-hmm. not because we want to out ourselves, but intentionally we are going to be outing ourselves today. But mm-hmm. I think for both of us, we know what it's going to mean to somebody out there listening. Oh yeah. Um, it's just going to give them a new perspective and a new outlook and hopefully um, some, what's the right word? What's the word I'm in, looking for? Uh, Inspiration is not the right word, but um, advice. Clarity, advice. I don't know. Clarity to me is just like learn from our mistakes. Cheating happens That's all the I'm time. For. It's not just guys. It's not just girls. It's everyone. Not Every, everyone. Everybody cheats. Not everyone cheats, but every gender cheats, you know? I mean, you have cheated. Um, Luckily for you, just on tests and not in relationships. That what, better not get spliced up somehow yeah. into I cheated. I have never cheated <laughs> that in my could life. come out real bad. That leads me to my first question, Josh. Have you ever cheated on someone? Okay, so I've never cheated in a relationship. And I'm proud to say that because for me, uh, That's great. For me I've always looked at cheating as just like the, the biggest form of uh, disrespect to someone you know and for me like personally like respect is everything you know yeah and I we do just want to say before we get started in today's podcast is that if you ever have cheated we are not coming for you we're not saying that you're a terrible person we're not saying that you can you never deserve happiness or love what we're trying to tell you guys or show you guys is that it's not okay but we're going to show you guys um kind of like how to get over it and kind of move past that and be better in a relationship yeah, you know because that's definitely not the way and you're totally. never going to find happiness if you are cheating everybody makes mistakes and mm-hmm. there's obviously a lot that goes into it that is unique to each person but all we're saying is we yeah. all, i think we all can agree on that cheating is wrong and if you have made that mistake let's learn from it let's move on and let's get better from it that's great that you said that because it's like every situation is so like every relationship is situational you know like everything totally. i don't know it just really depends but anyway let's talk about cheating yeah so i have a question why do you think someone cheats boy or girl it doesn't matter i think i think it's like kind of universal i think two reasons one they're unhappy totally. either the guy or the girl's unhappy and then two is but does that make it okay though does being unhappy no and no make no it okay it is never okay in my opinion but I two i would say it's an insecurity i think it's either an insecurity for a guy they want to be desired after they want other women to desire them to feel maybe more powerful or more manly or more wow. what guys would say top G or whatever. Wow. That's she coming reality. for a top G right now? And, and for girls, Second I Second podcast like- and you're already coming for top G, babe. <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't be throwing <laughs> shots like that. Okay, we only have one other podcast. We got we to gotta make a name for ourselves out here. <laughs> and for girls, I feel like it's a little bit of an insecurity. Maybe they want a little more attention from guys. Maybe okay. they desire or they want to be desired more by other men. And maybe that's why they do that. Maybe their boyfriend's not giving them enough attention. And I'm not saying that that's right or that's not the case because in, if that's the case and you you break up with them or you tell them the problem, you know, but I think that's why people do cheat. Okay. I don't think it's always to hurt the other person because I think a lot of times when people cheat, they, they, I wouldn't say love because I don't think you would do that to someone you truly love, but I'd say sometimes I really do think that couples will cheat and that doesn't mean they hate the other person that they don't like them. I feel like it's a own self-reflection of that. It could be a self-reflection and that's, yeah. and that's what I think is honestly one of the most important things we're going to say today is it's really just a reflection on you mm-hmm. and maybe that's something you need to work on as a person. If you're the cheater and now if you've been cheated on, do not take the blame for that. Never take the blame and be like, you know what? I deserve that or it's because I'm it's because that girl's skinnier it's because that girl's prettier that's not the fucking truth like that is not the truth and it irritates me when I see people get cheated on and then they take the blame for it I'm like you 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 can't take the blame for something that you didn't do that's their own insecurity wildly enough this has kind of happened to me like I guess I've never like portrayed it this way whenever I've told like this story and and we're gonna get into that later Mm. on but like I feel like I kind of took it that way oh well we're gonna get into it later on but i almost kind of took the fall in my head 
Like I never verbally said See, that. Art, I was like, oh, it was my fault. Like I never said that to her. But in my head, I was like, oh, maybe I could have done this better or I wasn't mm -hmm. good enough at this or maybe I need to spend more time or buy her flowers or whatever it was. You know, like I almost yeah. reflected on myself when it's funny. Truly, it was a reflection on her. We definitely have both been cheated on, but we have totally different stories and I feel like Way different. different outlooks on it. So I feel like it's really cool to dive into that. And then also red flags that we've noticed in when it was oh, going on and I that we can like, help you guys notice too. I feel like I could spot a cheater like from anywhere now. Okay, it's like, but, it's so obvious now. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, it's but, like, I see red flags all, like we've had some friends like that have been dating and they're not dating anymore and like that things happen and you're like, you just know, like it, it's a feeling I'm like, now. like, yo, I could have told you that months ago. It's like, yeah. I'm like, but yo, the thing is, is, so many red flags. Sometimes your friends will tell you if you're dating someone. Like yep. I remember when I dated my ex-boyfriend, um, a lot of people told me red flags and I didn't listen to them because you were love struck. But people also told me red flags about you as they yeah. should, because they as weren't a hundred percent wrong. <laughs> I mean, we're going to get into my red flags. If we want to, we're just going to expose okay. me. We'll talk about my red flags early on in the relationship. Okay. So I'm who down. should go first? I, I want to know before I want to get into it. I want to, I want to tell the story. I'm not going to rock, paper, story. scissors. Who gets okay. To go we're going to rock, paper, scissors. You can tell your cheating story. I'll tell mine. <laughs> but before, okay. Would you stay with me if I cheated? No. It would be so hard, though. It would Why? be so hard. I just wouldn't because I would never... Because it's breaking that trust barrier, you think? I think I would never be able to trust you the same again. And that's what I feel like makes our relationship so strong. And I feel like... I just feel like... It it would it would eat it like it would be so hard. Like, I don't know. And I'm not saying that people are wrong if they do stay with the cheater because honestly... I say no, but I've never been put in that situation. And that's what blows my mind because I was thinking about this question earlier and I was like, I don't think I could like, as much as I want to say no, I don't know. I just can't imagine my life without you. And like but that I almost like breaks like, my heart to even think of like, but I to think picture it, you as a cheater. But just, to it me, breaks my heart. I to me, it's it. like, if that happened, it's like, you're not who I guess I thought you were all this time. Like true. And that's what would change mentally is like, okay. I don't know. That would I be don't like really know you. That would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> so please, please. Yeah, no <laughs> nightmares coming true. Never. Only dreams, baby. <laughs> but uh okay, rock, paper, scissors. Uh loser has to tell their cheating story first okay. on shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Scissors, baby. Oh, it's a rock, time. paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, uh, you win. she lost, so she's going to tell her cheating story oh, first. Oh, loser tells it first? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, fine. I would love to sit back and listen to Childhood okay. Katie. So this is actually a really interesting story. In the cheating story. scandal. So <laughs> when I was a junior, I was dating a sophomore. It was in high school. It was my first um, relationship ever. And honestly, guys, I was a very good kid in high school. Like, I, I, I was a junior, and I, it was my first boyfriend ever. Like, it literally was... I never really kissed. I probably kissed like two boys before that. And I just was scared to talk to boys. I literally, this is actually funny. But this one you decided to go all in. If you know what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah. Because he kind of. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. He kind of just kissed me. And so like I, it just happened. And then I wasn't as nervous to kiss him again. But before that, I was so nervous. I would talk to guys and then I would ghost them when it was time for them that to like almost kiss me or they'd like mention that they were going to. And I would You're literally You're the just reason them. all these little seventh graders are listening to Juice World all the time on repeat. No. You're breaking hearts. Okay. I just, I don't know. It scared me. And I just didn't want, like, I just wanted like a boyfriend, like almost like a friend, not like in that intimate way. But like, I, I always thought it was so cute. Like I'd see all these couple goals and like all these like Tumblr couples. And I thought it was so cool. Anyway, we start dating, whatever. Um, it was at in the beginning, it was so fun. Like I literally, it was my first time ever having a boyfriend. I was like, nothing's ever going to be like this. This is the best thing ever. And I think for me, once it came out that he cheated on me, it was really hard to get over because it was my first relationship and things were good in the relationship. They were fine. And then there was a lot of toxic fights. And honestly, I even look back, I'm like, some of it, like I could have done better too, but I didn't know any better. It was my first relationship and he was acting one way and I thought like I would have to act back the other way. But I mean, my relationship was so toxic that he would literally follow me like in my classroom and look through the window and look at my class to make sure I didn't talk to anyone. That is insane. And I and I think it's very easy for high school relationships to, to get be toxic. Because it's normally like their first relationship. And the, Especially and I'm not under okay. the circumstances as what? well. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, it, I we don't have to out you, but, you uh, know, I 
I feel like, like there's someone out there. I can't. I know, but he already knows. I and I feel I like know. there's someone yeah, out there does. that it can help. Okay, so yeah. to out yourself so, and embarrass. I'm not embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Don't ever be embarrassed or I, don't ever. Don't I ever don't. Think, I don't regret yeah, anything. No regrets. But when I was um in high school and I was dating him, I did lose my virginity to him, and I think that played, did that changed the game. That changed everything because for me, like. We could do a whole podcast on this skit. I was skit, whatever you want to call it. I was so invested and mind you, like I am a religious person. Like I'm not perfect. <laughs> like God knows I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. But like, I do believe, and I really was strong about like waiting till marriage and like being with like the right person. And like, I kind of got pressured by him and I'm not saying it's his fault because honestly, like I feel like most high school boys would pressure girls, but my message that I do want to give to the girls is like, who cares? Like, why did I listen to him? Like, who cares what little old high school, you know, his name thinks? Like, I just wish I would have been a little more strong in who I was because that's not like me. I feel like I'm a very, like, um, strong personality person. And I feel like I kind of, like, caved because I, I honestly was scared he would break up with me. And I loved having a relationship so bad because it was my first one. And I would just was scared to like not have a boyfriend anymore. Like that was my biggest fear. And like it, it, as as your husband, oh. it, I mean, it, it's like not, it's like we're talking about someone else. It doesn't even feel like we're talking about you. I don't know why. Because like, like to think of that like <laughs> just is weird. Actually, like, yeah. To even think of it, I don't even want to think of a little high school. That can we just Katie not go B? Stop. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop. My dad listens I'm to gonna this stop podcast. while I'm ahead. <laughs> but like you said, um, everyone no regrets you know yeah you it, learned a lot from that and, and but i'm more so curious like because i think we could do a whole podcast on that topic like I, I think there's a lot you could get into on that but i'm more so curious was it that that made you made it so much harder when he did cheat like or what or did that not have any effect oh it definitely had a and that's because I guarantee mom, you probably thought you're gonna marry this. Guy. I did, like, and that's the thing is, I couldn't let go of the fact. I was like, oh my gosh, now I slept with him. I was like, I, now I did this, and I felt guilty because then I was like, now I have to marry him. Like I have to. Like I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to wait till marriage. Like that's what I was supposed to do, and I felt so conflicted with that. And for me, it was getting so toxic in the relationship. There were so many red flags. Like. I mean, I lost like a lot of like, I lost my best friend Cassidy because he lied to her and like a whole like another story. And yep. I literally like so many people were like, you should not date him. Like he is not a good person. And like, this is not, and I'm honestly like this, if anyone knows him or anything, like listen to this, like no hate towards him because this was so long ago. And I'm sure like I've done things that like maybe I yelled at him in a toxic way or like things. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. High school and relationships, I really, you know? And that leads me to a question is, because one of the questions I had written down and I was going to ask Josh, um, do I hate my ex? Like, I, I don't. Why? Why would you? I mean, first of all, I was so I long did. ago. I yeah, did. In the moment. Because I felt so heartbroken. It was the first time I ever experienced heartbreak and everything. I did hate him. But then after I was like, I don't even care. Like, I just look at you don't now, though. Care. I Thanks. mean, come on. Like, come on now. Thanks. Like, you, you couldn't even hate on and guys, him. I he mean, literally, it, only, was a, it was only a page in your he, book. He made fun of my YouTube videos, which was the most frustrating thing of every. There were so many red flags, and I'm so stupid for not listening to them. But, he made fun of your YouTube videos, and now he probably watches them. That's what's crazy to say. But, um, but the thing is, wow. is um, I definitely think, so this is how he cheated. So, and I say cheated because high school cheating is a little different than like how maybe it happened with you because everything's a little more innocent um he basically was like talking to this other girl at work and then he's like oh we're not like talking like that and i was like well why is she like why is she coming all your stuff i, I like started noticing Sus. and then i saw a picture and she was wearing his hoodie oh his you're, freaking really, hockey you're hoodie. doing the social media I dive was, in and then um and then she kept commenting as pictures like nicknames for him i'm like what like th this is no Ooh. way then she like i saw a text message pop up like indicating that they had like hooked up and i was like i we literally were like talking like because we were Yikes. fighting and then i was like i literally ran out of the car and i was so mad and that's when we broke up and want to know the most embarrassing part of it all is i like texted him back like uh maybe a couple like a week later and then maybe like two weeks after that like after we had like broken up but then still like trying to like like not like totally to cut it, contact to come back like, kind of it right, but it's like together. kinda yikes and that's embarrassing for me because it's like that's not who I am and I'm so much stronger of a person than that but the thing is is like it was my first heartbreak and I'm like I just wanted it to work so bad but that's not healthy and that's not good 
No, I know. And I can't even imagine what you were going through because like, believe it or not, your boy did not have a girlfriend at all in high school. <laughs> Like at all, I was focused on my schoolwork and getting you skipped my two point six GPA. Hey, that's a long. <laughs> Yo, okay, no regrets. Like no I said, re but yeah, I don't know why I never had a girlfriend in high school. But that's I can't good, imagine though. like getting cheated on and then having to go to school and Mind see you, them every single day. That would be a nightmare. When you are, when no, no, no. So I think we broke up, and when I graduated, I think I was. Graduated. Oh, thank God. Yeah, but the thing is, but I'm sure someone out, out there listening. I relate. wish I would have been able to go to school and see him every day, because like I was heartbroken. Like it was like I'm never gonna see him again. Like this, it it wasn't like him. And you wanted to. Yeah, because it was like heartbreak. It's like, it's I don't know. It was like we have two very different stories. Yeah, and maybe. that's what I'm saying. Like I did not like him, but like I missed like having a boyfriend, and I couldn't get over the fact that like I, we weren't gonna be together anymore. Because in my head, I had it so pictured out that we were gonna get married, and like it's just like. And then even for like months after, like I was, guys, I literally was so heartbroken. Like I bawled my ass out on the porch. How did you for get days. over it? Like that, that's like the, I that's just, what I, the people want to know. So how I, got, know over how I got, got over it is I would hang out with my friends a ton. We, I would like try and distract myself. And um, I think just there's nothing to specifically do, but give it time. Because I think it took me like four months to get over, which is a wow. long time. Um, for I can imagine though that you just like worked on yourself and I did but you know got better. so this is the thing is I graduated high school and I was like you know what screw everyone and also I don't they kind of like his like I don't want to say like his family but like people around him and stuff they best they like were kind of knocking community college and basically like to me it felt like they were saying I was going to go nowhere if I just went to community college and in my head they I didn't want to like, see you be great I was like screw all of them I'm going to show everyone I'm going to prove everyone wrong I'm going to go to community college I'm going to upload three times a day on YouTube that they said I need to find a real career that's going to go somewhere um, and I was like, I'm going to show them that like, I'm, I'm going to get my like crap together. I was like, I don't care if I go to community college, that doesn't mean anything to me. Like I'm proud to go to that. I'm proud to do what I'm going to do. And I honestly just started working on myself. And then after like a couple months later, he like reached out to me. He like DM'd me and I totally, he's like, you didn't come to my state on um, playoff game. And I was like, why would I go to your state game? I was like, we're broken what? up and we're never getting together. And then, what? and that then makes like, no sense. And so whatever the message was, it was just like, what, like, why would I go? Like we're broken up. And then, um, should have left him on red. That was your first mistake. I know. But, but then I was over it at that point. And I remember looking and thinking, and I was like, why did I ever, why did I ever think that this was okay? Like it just clicked in my head. I was like, why was I, why did I think this was the only, because it's all I knew, you know? Yeah. And that's, what's weird. That's what's so weird about like the whole cheating thing and relationships is like, I'm pretty sure he had a girlfriend too. Yikes. Or he 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 ended up with the girl that he said while we were dating he would always be she's so hot. First of all, red flag, red flag. If That's why guy, we got to get into the red flags because little little love girl Katie B just could not see Josh, through the flag. If Josh was like calling other girls that we know hot, <laughs> that's would, just so weird. No. Like, that's weird to say well, someone's pretty yeah, or yeah, like you say that you're like oh she's a really pretty girl but not like in a weird maybe way maybe if or, it was like a very obvious joke but to like actually sit there and be like oh she's so hot like yeah that is so and, weird and i always explain can't, this to josh is that. we had a very high school immature relationship on both ends like it's my fault it's his fault you know it was just a high school relationship we had to ask our parents to go hang out we'd only be able to hang out maybe like an hour before a hockey game or something and like you had an adult relationship so that must have been kind of even harder although maybe you're a little more mature but it's still your first relationship no super immature i mean so I let's was, hear yours i was 19 years old you Thanks. know fresh out of high school oh baby face josh yeah baby face bruckner is what they called me back <laughs> in the day um but yeah so this girl she went to my high school she was a year younger than me and i had met her once i graduated high school already started dating and she was my first girlfriend ever I mean, yeah. and I wasn't even like really looking for a girlfriend or whatever. Like we just started hanging out and I was like, oh, this is cool. Like, why have I never done this before? Yeah. Like, I don't you, know. You know what? The thing is, it's like your first time having a boyfriend or girlfriend. It just makes like little things so exciting. You're so excited for your first Christmas together. You're so excited right. to give them like a gift for their birthday or like just little things. It Dude, just I, was so a, I was such a simp. 
to like i don't know why because i never had a, a serious girlfriend so like to buy a girl flowers or <laughs> did you spend a spend lot of money my on whole her? paycheck on her <laughs> dude i could t- i could talk for hours on my first relationship because there's so many funny stories of my car getting declined at <laughs> restaurants like scraping money together She's like, like who am i dating <laughs> yeah there's so many embarrassing and funny stories and lessons i've learned along the way but but yeah, so we dated for three years. Um, this is actually something that I don't know if many people know out there, but what? we actually have a son together. Oh yeah, you guys have a kid. Yeah, so I'm a um, stepmom. You're a stepmom. <laughs> we have a son, uh, a dog. So, I was gonna say puppy, but he's a dog now. He's a dog. Yeah, he's a dog. You know. Yeah. So Josh and his ex girlfriend got, got a dog, a dog together. together and then broke I up. Don't, you know what? I can't even say I don't recommend because. <laughs> We, I mean, you did the same thing. Yeah, but we were already living in the house. We were already, like financially Big together, like bigger commitments yeah. than getting a and dog. A dog, but but yeah, so we got a dog together. So yeah, I have a son. Um, Katie has a stepson. I have a stepson, Gizmo. <laughs> yeah, his name's Gizmo, and he's a cute little husky who no. can howl. I love you. But anyways, okay, that's back beyond to your the point. Back to the story. <laughs> um, yeah, we were together for a lot longer. Um, than Katie and her ex boyfriend, and it, what's a little bit different is. We weren't in high school. Like she graduated high school. Um, we were practically living together. I would spend the night at her parents' house. See the difference almost is every single night. You guys were basically living together, and yeah. I couldn't even be home alone with my uh, boyfriend at no, the such time. And two different like lives. Yeah. I feel like like in different age groups, which makes yeah. sense. I mean, we dated all the way till I was like twenty one, like almost the end of my twenty one life your 21 year old 20 fun year old self um but yeah so we so yeah we dated for a long time and then uh, towards the end things were weird and i was like like i could tell things were off i just didn't know and like one day i was laying in bed and i was like is something so off and i was like you know i'm such a trustworthy guy and you I feel are like i've got burned <laughs> multiple times on that and just because like for me i just i don't I, I want to say I think the best of people. Like, I really... You know what? Josh thinks the best of people so much that sometimes it's so annoying because Katie actually gets we have had people in our life who have totally used us and it's just terrible situation. And I and call I'm things from the beginning. And I'm saying positive things. And, no, and I'm like... Yeah, not that I'm saying negative things, but I'm like, no, no, hey, no. this is what I noticed, and this is what happened with these people, or and and or this situation. And like, and she's right every time. By the way, I'm the one getting burned, but and she I, gets burned because I, of me. I do love it because Josh always thinks the best of people. He's always like, yeah, but maybe they didn't mean it this way. And then I'm like, because I just don't maybe. ever have <laughs> ill intentions. But then like, I'm always I like, no, maybe I'm just the bitch. Like I was like, maybe I, it's me. Like no, maybe, maybe you're I'm smart. Wrong. Well, yeah, but I think it's really good always to give people the benefit of the doubt because maybe there's people that I thought something and like I was wrong because I'm not right all the time. But for a couple of times, mostly it seems like I am right. Yeah, I mean, I think you've been right pretty much about every situation, but that's hey, that's good. You know, I'm going to start yeah, listening to my wife more. Note to self. But you also make me like give people the benefit of the doubt more, which is good. totally. And, and that's where I was literally find myself laying in bed at my parents house one night like. I'm not even going to lie. This like, I don't think I've ever story, told anybody. Like, this story makes me sad. I'm because... crying. Like, I'm upset. I'm like, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I just had lost my first pro MMA fight. So, oh. 0-1 as a professional fighter. So, you were crying before you found out? Things were weird about my my girlfriend. Uh, I thought, yeah. like, like in my head, I was like, we're, we're in love. Like, blah, 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 blah. She's my ride or die. Like, she's yeah, like with you're me, getting like, married, through the loss. Like... like yeah, I, mean, I don't think marriage ever really crossed my Do mind. Do guys but not think about marriage? Like, no, I'm sure she would thought of that. It. Yeah, we would talk about it. Like, I feel like every couple eventually does that. But, and I'm like, you know what? I know her passwords. Like, I wonder if it works. Okay, for okay, Snapchat. mind you, things were being weird in your guys' relationship. And you guys were on like a, not really like a break, but like a. Yeah, so we like. I initiated. I was like, oh, like maybe like let's take a week away from each other. Like something seems off and I want to figure it out. And like I'm laying in bed, like I'm texting her. She's Mind not you, responding everyone knows, or anything. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, everyone knows weird. a break isn't like a sign to go cheat. Well, and that's what gets into it. So I, I logged into her Snapchat and I swiped. I saw like she was snapping a guy, whatever. I'm going to log out, right? And I, my idiot self doesn't know how to log out on Snapchat. And I swipe up. Oh, no. Just fucking nudes. Nudes. And I'm like, bro, what 
Because I, I didn't know it would save to your snap, but it saved to your snap. If you were to log into my snap right now, it yeah. would save to it. And you would see all my old snaps and everything that I saved or or they were ones your she was saving of herself. so shattered. Like you but must then it like, gets cool. even worse. And I see like the dates and like I know when like we went on our oh, break. Oh, did it like, happen everything. like longer? Yeah. Oh. But I mean, whatever. If you know who my ex-girlfriend is or whatever, like, I mean... It doesn't matter. Like, no. I, obviously, everyone's so, like, we're all so past this, but I just, uh, we want to talk about it because I think someone out there I think can, it can help people learn from our situation. I, I learned so much and from you I'm know so, what? I, I, I bet you your ex girlfriend's grateful that it happened. That's what I'm saying. I'm so happy that happened. Like, that was the biggest blessing in my life. Like, I, I, I cannot express it more. Like, I know, I feel like when you sit here and you're talking about, like, I mean, fuck, we're married, sitting yeah. here talking about, like, our exes from, like, I don't know, that was like, almost 10 years you just ago. Don't, you don't it care sounds anymore, like you like... care, but, like, truly, it was the biggest blessing ever. And, and yeah, obviously, in the, in the beginning, I was crushed. Oh, yeah. Crushed. And the funny story with the dog there and, like, how it all actually ended. But, yeah, I, I literally texted her. I was like, I never want to hear from you again. That was it. Never have talked to her since. Oh, my God. I was so, I was so, I was like, I'm not, like, it's over. Like, yeah. But I would see, see her, where I worked, me. I would see her all the time. But, like, not talking or anything. I would just I, see her coming you, with her new boyfriend. I used to run into her at the gym all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's another thing is, like, I don't, I, like, I feel like this is something I am actually very good at is I would never, like, it's like, because Josh has a past. Like, he's hooked up with some other people. And he has his ex-girlfriend. Okay. And I have never been the type True. that... Like, I feel like it's, like, mad or jealous of it. You are the least jealous girl I've ever met in my life. I feel like I almost, like, I always, like, wait, tell me the story. Like, it's interesting to me. Katie because wants to know. She's like, oh, did you hook up with that girl? Well, well because you, I would rather this, know no, than like, not geez. know. I don't want to be lied to. And the thing is, is, like, it's your past, and I can't control that. And I think a lot of times girlfriends get so mad about their boyfriends for their past. And it's, like, when you date someone you better figure out what their past was and you better either be okay with it and move on or not okay with but it I, you cannot i think that's a maturity thing too yeah because i don't think you should like hold someone yeah. for their past i think some things if it's like maybe they cheated on you and that's the past that's something you always kind of gotta like keep in your head of. be aware of yeah but you're gonna move on from it if you're staying with that person but things that happen in your past relationships or the things in the past it's like you are such a different person than that. And I can even recognize that I'm a different person than I was in high school. And I feel oh my like, gosh, I can't even, I literally, we talk about it every day. I cannot even picture what I was like in high, I, like high school. Me is a different oh, yeah. person and way better. I mean, glowed up and everything. I was, I was like the quiet kid didn't like school in high school, but yeah. what? there's so much stuff we could cover on podcasts. Like, and another thing I, I, I don't want to get into is so much, but just, I'm trying to stay on topic. I don't want any hate to go like to the exes because I'm sure that everyone has two sides of the story, right? Like I'm sure her story would be like well, some okay, crazy, so, like opposite of literally everything I said, which I don't even care. Like, yeah, it, it's, it, that's her truth, whatever. My truth is my truth. Like, yeah. To each their own. And I think everyone, well, I don't really know about my ex-boyfriend or necessarily your ex-girlfriend. I know Josh's mom kind of stays in touch with her a little bit, but like, I don't think that like they're unhappy or, and that's not what we would ever want. Like, I only want the best for people. Even people who have hurt me in my life. No, that's not, I don't, I literally like, that was a different life. Yeah. I don't even, I don't care. I I hope nothing but the best for all of them. Yeah. Like, that's how it always is. Like, I'm not trying to burn a bridge. And Sometimes like, like things that come in your life are like, if it's an ex, if it's a friendship fallout, it's always like, in my opinion, a lesson. And and you can either look at it negatively and be like, I wasted so True. much time on this relationship, this friendship. That's what, and, that was my hardest part in the beginning. Yeah. My biggest pet peeve is wasting time or wasted time. And I'm like, I could like, not get over <laughs> the fact that I had just wasted, I don't even know, I think it was three and a half, like three, and, in my head, I was like, I just wasted three and a half years of my life. But literally a couple months later, it changed and I'm like, wow, I learned so much from that. Yeah. Like even a lot about myself, like I was a, I'm like, I don't want to, like I said, I'm not trying to put all the blame on her. Like I wasn't a good boyfriend. Yeah. Like even your friends we have were told toxic. me, your friends told me that yeah, we'd fight all the time that like, they about would be, stupid stuff that you guys would be screaming at each other, yelling and fighting. And I'm like, jeez, wait, Josh. And they're like, we've never, we you have only no, done I that like, once ever, but like never and like, like not yell, like screaming, yelling, but especially never, we have never done that in front of friends. 
The only time we ever got in a yelling, or like a fight, was at the it. Faster Horses when you were drinking oh gosh, too much. Yeah. That's because you were drinking too much. That was that's that's I a think whole other time. Story a bunch yeah. of times on YouTube, but um, but that, but that's what the was thing I is, say? but yeah, I was I was such a bad boyfriend. Like I don't, I'm not even trying to put all the blame on anybody. Yeah, you know, but that's where it also goes to show is like, for me, what hurt is like if you want it out, like just break up with yeah just break up with you and go Go away like like, go go talk to the other guy and just and just don't string you along like don't waste more of my time because sometimes i think people in relationships they do that because they're like let me see what this girl's about or this guy's about yeah and then let me see if it's better or worse or maybe i won't like them but maybe it'll just be like a little fling and then i'll go back because it's like they're scared to lose that person too so weird to even i I can't even fathom that leads me to my next question well i I gotta finish like how i got over it because we talked about how did you get over it because i think for me this is like the biggest part getting over it it was like obviously very tough at first but i literally what we talked about earlier like i just decided i was like i'm gonna do me like i'm gonna I'm going to crush it. Whatever I do, I'm going to work out and like do this, whatever I'm doing to the fullest and, you were doing- and become the best version of myself to get my confidence back up and mm-hmm. me to be. Cause I think even when I was in that relationship, I wasn't like fully me. Yet. Yeah. You know, like I didn't embrace like who I was, my confidence, like, yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You I don't weren't know. like so, developing. And I don't think, I don't think you can be happy in a relationship if you're not like happy with yourself yeah I and agree. like that's why i don't even blame her too because i'm like i probably wasn't a good boyfriend because like yeah, you i wasn't you, say you were like, like training all the time and like yeah i was like we never really got to hang out that much or anything but that's like again it's, it feels like a whole nother life yeah but yeah i just did i did so what were you focusing on you were focusing on mma i was fighting i was working two jobs and were you professional at this point or amateur? Yeah, I was 0-1 as a professional and I just got cheated on by my girlfriend. So was that like, is tough. Yeah. And wait, wait, wait. Didn't you say it happened before Christmas too? Yeah, I'm sorry, I had, I'm laughing. It's so bad. And I, I feel so bad. Started a new job. Actually, oh. I remember that Christmas. I was like, Was it was title? Sad. Yeah, I just started working at title boxing. But I was sad and I was I ran 10 miles. I was the only person at the gym on Christmas. Would you look at 10 that miles though, Josh? On the look at that. But I, I got Would better. you look at that though? You started a new job where you'd meet your future wife. That's what I wanted to say. When one door closes in business relationships, anything, two doors open. That is so true. That's, and that's what you gotta always think. I always tell people when something bad happens, something good is gonna come. There's a reason for it. Like God has a plan, God has a reason for it, and that's why it does. And every time in my life that it seems like that has happened, so I've gotten a different blessing. And you know what? Maybe I never would have if I would have stayed with my ex boyfriend, we would have been miserable. I probably never would have moved to LA. Probably never would have pursued YouTube. I never would have been having my dream job. Wow. Like no, it's so cool when you think about it that way. Like I can literally comfortably like go back and say that was like such a big blessing in my life. Yeah. Like I said, I've learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about relationships and who I didn't like who I was in a relationship because of whatever reasons. Me too. I, what I did like about myself in a relationship. Once I was done with my relationship, I, I could like have a healthy outlook on it and be like, you know what? He was not a good boyfriend, but I could have done this differently in my next relationship and i would be like i will never let someone talk to me like that i will never let this happen again i will and there was like things i was like this was not okay and i will not let it happen again and that is truly why i do think that i met josh and i met the right person because my standards were so high i didn't date someone for three years and my sister's like we thought you were never gonna talk to someone and then my one sister was like well, yeah you we just bar, you said the bar is just super they're high. like you're like way too picky and i was like honestly like I don't care. Like, I felt like I was never meeting anyone. And it was hard for me because I was like, everyone has a boyfriend. Everyone has a girlfriend. I'm like, it's been like three and a half years. I haven't met anyone. I don't even, I'm not even meeting guys. And then after three and a half years, um, she set the bar a little bit lower and then (laughs) found there, there I come stringing along. Just your average guy. (laughs) Just your average guy. (laughs) That's what Josh said. And like our wedding, our wedding vows. And everyone's like, bro, shut up. Like you are not an average guy. Okay. Just shut up. Just your average guy, Josh. (laughs) Shredded and a good heart and good looking. Just your average guy. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> But Josh is like, I think it's really cool because I feel like I developed so much as a person, like dating my ex-boyfriend, getting over it, finding out who I was again. And that is like the biggest advice. If you are, if you're unsure about the relationship or you know there's red flags, get out of it. You know what's big advice too? What? Work on yourself. That. Um, 
a couple things about relationships, just real quick, I'm going to touch on it. Like, mm-hmm. being happy with yourself, you know, loving yourself first. Yeah. And I feel like that's so cliche to say. Everybody says that. But it's, like, actually true. If it you don't so love true. yourself, you can't love somebody else. Loving yourself and then... Want to know why, though? Because if you're insecure... You're insecure about your relationship and you're insecure about things you can do. Like if, if you, you don't, don't think it, yeah. if you don't think you're pretty, then you're gonna be like, he's talking to someone pretty, or he's doing this with someone pretty, or like it's because it's I'm not saying it's your fault, but you have to be secure in yourself so you can be secure in your relationship too. Yeah, and things could still go wrong at that point. Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. not saying if you love yourself, like your relationship will yeah. be perfect. <laughs> just but, love yourself and all the <laughs> Just what was the second yourself. thing? Um, I think you need to like talking to like younger, older people, whoever, like date more people. Like, yes. I mean, as I say that, I've only had, like, technically three relationships. But but if I if I would have just, like, that first one and got married from that, I would have, like, there was so much about relationships I didn't know. Yeah. And that's not the case for everybody. Like, everyone's unique in their own way. But, like, that's advice, I think, is good for people. Yeah. And I, I honestly really believe that some, I think some people settle for people that they get along with and not people that make them better. Or like they don't really like they're just kind of there together and they fight, but they can like manage like they've been dating for like a long time and like they're really not meant for each other. And sometimes I feel like if that's the only person, you know, unless I guess really you want to have a reason to break up with them. But if you do have a reason, like get out of the relationship, go date someone else. Then if it's meant to be, it'll be like, like, don't be so scared about losing that relationship. You could always come back to them unless they are someone that you want to be with forever. You know, you got to make that call. Yep, I agree. And before we continue with the podcast, I do just want to say we are now on Apple Podcasts, Ooh. Spotify, and YouTube. Oh. I know we a lot of you guys watched on YouTube, and we appreciate that so yes. much. Our first podcast like blew our expectations out of the water. A hundred percent. So you guys, we always say strongest fam on YouTube, but let's bring that same energy to Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Also, and can you guys give it a five star review on reviews, Apple? Baby. And um, I think you can do it on Apple, but reviews. on podcast, it's definitely will help us out a lot. We yeah, and if you it. missed the last episode it was the first one and one. it's about our relationship um baby talk and not baby talk you keep saying baby talk baby talk is like oh i love you so much i love you so much oh, you baby. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about our baby situation and some other awesome stuff so yes. make sure you guys check out that podcast and with okay. that being said let's talk about red ahead. flags Ooh, red flags the biggest red flag to me is if you are talking Katie. to someone shut up if you are stop looking at me <laughs> You look cute as hell. Sorry. You look cute. We're matching. Today. She be stunting for the podcast. I don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm wearing you, a hoodie and jeans. You be stunting for the podcast. Thanks, right babe. Now. Um, okay, biggest red flag I would say is if someone is controlling and if they're trying to check your phone all the time. And there's a difference between I let Josh go on my phone. He doesn't check my phone. He doesn't go through my phone. He doesn't be like, who are you talking to? Like my ex used to be like, who are you talking to? Who who messaged you? Who like it's always like on defense, and you want to know why? That was because he was talking to other girls like the whole time. Because he didn't even trust himself, probably. Because because he's he, like, if I'm doing because, it, he's doing. Well, it, that's probably. what I say about like insecurities. Like he was probably insecure because he knew what he was doing, so right. he thought that. And you know what's so crazy? My mom told me this, and your parents are probably right about your relationships. Like, Dude, that's not some, always, one of the but most they are. Things, yeah. It's so parents like are always right. as you get older, and I literally was like, "Mom, you just don't understand." You know, I used to hide. Because I would, my ex-boyfriend would make me cry all the time. And I would hide the fact that I was crying from my parents because I didn't want them to make me break up with him because it was like that bad. And that's what's like so sad is like, that's all I knew though. And I was like, I, well, it would make me more upset to break up with him. True. Yeah. But, but it wouldn't have, it just would have temporarily. I mean, yeah. High school, young kid. By like checking each other's phones, like always like stalking their location and there's one like i check your location all the time and we actually just started sharing our location about a couple months ago and i love it because i do it for like non-toxic reasons i'm always like because like make sure i'm safe because i always want to make sure he like made it there like i just i don't know i love him so much i literally always make sure you're safe and i'm never like where are you because i always know you are well that's the thing like i don't have anything to hide i don't no. have my location I don't but care. that's you another go, thing you could literally have my phone for I, hours i think it's totally normal for like your boyfriend to be able to go on your phone and know your password to your phone yeah. because i i don't think you should have anything to hide but now i i think it's toxic if they're like who are you texting who are you doing this like Anytime I feel like there's someone that messaged me that feels like out of line or like not even out of line, but like Josh could question, I tell him like, I'm like, oh, this kid from high school, like uh, messaged me or, or like, oh, like this happened. Someone messaged me on this or on Facebook or like, why did this guy just text me? You know, like right. I would tell you. So and you know that I have nothing to hide and like you're on my phone all the time, but you're not like searching for something. 
Yeah, that's a massive red flag. Do you mm-hmm. have any other ones? Like, or is that your top one? Is that that top, top cheating red flag? That's top cheating red flag. I'd but say. then I also think um, there's a fine line between this next one. Do you have one? Oh, go ahead. I want to hear. I think when guys are really controlling about what girls wear. Interesting. I I don't like when guys tell girls wow. what to wear because I feel like a girl. I know a lot of people think that I girls think dress could for guys. Be a right way to yes, but do but that's why I said a fine line. Situations. That's why I said a fine line. Yep. Because I think a girl doesn't always. I know a lot of guys think that girls dress for them, but girls dress to feel confident and look good. Now, so you got that cute, not for me. No, it's for you. No, it's honestly for like to look cute so I can watch back the podcast and be no, like, I know it's not, not, not like, because honestly, though, it's for me too. Like I get dressed cute for me. Like I put that makeup ties on for back me. into the self love. You know, you got to love yourself. Exactly. Because you know? then now you feel good. Now you're I robbing that energy off I'm, on me. Yeah. And I'm like so excited. And like, even right before we filmed this podcast, Josh sat down. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to go change. He put a different outfit on. He's like, I, I feel so much it. more confident now. Yeah. I was looking dusty. Honestly. And, and we're actually going to do a whole podcast one day about po- um, confidence confidence and like i don't know just there's that so, whole topic so many topics and how to be confident Follow, where do you get it because they come in yes and anyway what was i talking about the red flag red flag i want your number one red flag you're gonna give another one no, and no, it, no, it was I, it was the controlling what you wear oh and the reason is is because i remember we were with someone and like they it was a couple and he's like go put a shirt on your tits are out and I was like, bro, <laughs> she's in a bathing suit. She has big boobs. Like, what do you want her to do? Now, I think there's a fine line. I think as a girl, especially if you're in a relationship, you should dress with some modesty. And like, I mean, I wear bathing suits. Okay, butt floss. But that's what I'm saying. I wear I wear <laughs> bathing suits where like my butt's out, but it's I don't wear it really because it's like I want attention from other guys. And kidding. you know that like, oh, I don't care. And but that's the thing is Josh has never been like you. You're not allowed to wear that or you're not allowed. to. He's not controlling on what I wear. And he always hypes me up to the fact where I think he respects me so much that I am cautious of what I wear sometimes because I don't want to put, I don't want him to think I disrespect him. Yeah, it's all how you go about it. Like, if you were to, like, you know, now you have that same bathing suit on and now you, like, bent over on the beach, posting on the, on the gram, like, yeah, yeah, very yeah. obvious, I'm like, trying to, like, thirst, thirst trap. trap. Like, and it's not, like, a, I feel like some girls would be like, oh, like, he just didn't think here. Like, no. she can post whatever she wants. Like, yeah, she can, but that but has I, a, a every action has an equal and opposite reaction to me that's gonna be like okay well she, she doesn't respect me like yeah she knows like i i wouldn't appreciate that but but i love it so much because like i can wear i know i can wear whatever i want and i respect josh enough and he respects me enough to know that like i'm never gonna cross like a boundary and neither is he like i wear sports bras to the gyms and spandex like booty short spandex and it's like I do that because I feel good and he always hypes me up. And I think that's another amazing thing that Never I Never even thought twice about you wearing that. But I used to get like, I would literally wear a normal outfit and my ex-boyfriend would be like, you can't wear that. Or like, would you take that off. He would make me like delete pictures on Instagram. And like, I was in high school. I was not thirst trapping. Like that wasn't big. Yeah. See, that's where it goes back to like the young, like. Yeah. Young and not knowing. That's where and you first learn a lot about and, yourself. Like, yeah. And I just remember I was like. I don't like being told what to do like that. Like I'm, I was like, I'm not. And he would be like, you just want attention. It would be like a selfie. And I'm like, no, I just felt pretty. Like I felt good. Like, and then he would like deteriorate my confidence. And so like, I remember those feelings and I was like, I never want to feel like that again. trying to break you down. Yeah. So you don't go nowhere. But meanwhile, like. Because he knew you were a 10 out of 10. He was trying to break you down (laughs) so you didn't leave him. Meanwhile, Josh is always like, damn, my wife's hot. Like you look so good. But okay. What's, what's your red flag? um that someone is cheating what's my red flag yeah. i would say um you know i i feel like it's more like a feeling like when things start to change you know yeah. they start they start communication gets yeah weird. communication gets weird they start hiding their phone or flipping it upside like it, it, it just is depends so- how your relationship is but like i feel like they're just obvious like but you when you're in love or like you're you trust someone it's things you don't see you know there there is someone in my life who i believe is cheating on someone else and t t and you want to know why i know it's the way they act on their phone and i, I am so upset because i just they know hide it. i know it's like anytime you look at the person's phone anytime you're near it they like do one of these they like flash it a little bit and that to me is a huge red flag when someone's weird, all of a sudden weird about their phone, they're there. You can tell when someone's hiding something. Yeah. Or 
I just, I, for me, relationships are all about like being better together. Mm -hmm. And like, because especially once you get married, like you kind of become in my eyes, like almost like one. Like, well, you are. Like, if you were to do something. says that in the Bible. Like, you literally become one. If you were to do something embarrassing, like, I feel you have to take credit for me. Yeah. Like, I'm taking, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. When have I done something embarrassing? No, you haven't. But I'm just (laughs) saying, for example, it's like, you know, or I don't know how to put this. Like, if you were eating like very unhealthy and getting out of shape, it's like, I'm, that's me that's that's not doing it too or i'm like something's got to change like she's sad or like i gotta we're one now like does that, and, I don't and don't take it, it like oh i'm gaining weight it. like and he's like i gotta change that he means no. more so like i'm not doing the things that he knows i love to do yeah like you feel held accountable for the other person yeah but you're me like we're one <laughs> well you want to talk about unhealthy habits yeah Josh i have bad habits and she's been trying to help me every single night to our house and I i'm know. like can you stop like but if literally. you want to sponsor me, um, no, do not. I do not want that sponsor. I actually, I love me some cookies, baby. <laughs> See, and that's why I brought it up because I'm a little insecure about that, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know what? Relationships are just so they're so interesting to me because. I just feel like it's always, it's really sad when you see someone go back to someone that you know that they deserve better. And that's another situation is being friends with someone who's in a bad relationship. Because I feel like as a friend, you only have so much say because they'll listen to you a little bit. But sometimes when someone's in a toxic relationship, they just can't hear anything around them. That's the, that's why they call it toxic. And all you can do is be the best friend and try and put your two cents in. And wait for them to listen to you because sometimes they just won't. And well, that's not like, the red flags. And that's why, like, our next thing we want to talk about, like, is he cheating on you? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And how, and wh- how, what would you say to a girl, like, is he cheating on you? You know, like, how would you say it? Mm. Like, what would make you think, you know, like, it's basically just red flags. It's like, oh, like, well, he did this. He did this. Well, I would say this. it's kind of similar to what I said about the red flags. Like, if he's hiding his phone, if he's lying to you. If he's not where he says he is, um, if he's blowing you off. We could be messing up relationships right now. I know, but it's could. good. <laughs> we could be on to We're the helping next. somebody. You know what you I, know what I said, um, or this is something that's really important, is like, do not waste your time in an unhealthy relationship because you could be missing your Josh Bruckner. Oh, babe, what? <laughs> that puts a lot of pressure on me. I'm not that sweet. But yeah, you, you are. Do you know how many comments we get? They're like, I just want to find a guy like Josh. And I'm oh like, gosh. I'm not even kidding. You do. I don't like when you people hype me You do want to find a guy like I'm Josh. Like, you I don't do. Like it. And obviously not just specifically Josh, because I feel like I'll, you would drive a lot of girls crazy with how much, how active you are. Oh, I'm annoying as hell. Like, I'm but not I for love everybody. It. I love I'm not it. for everybody. But, and, and, for that's, people. and that's the thing, like. Same with you, you know, I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm so glad everything that has happened in my life because it led me to you. And like, I, I think our relationship has been amazing. And it I literally, been. I, I've thought about this before. I was like, I could, I don't think I could, I couldn't picture myself with anybody else. No, like, no, never. Like that would be so, it doesn't even cross my mind. No, never. As far as like, oh, like what about this? Or, or nothing like that ever. Well, that's, my mind. that's like another thing is it's so weird is once I found Josh, like, I always would hear people be like, oh, this is my celeb crush or this guy's so hot. Or like, I'm like, I've never seen anyone that I think is hotter, better looking than you. And I'm like, here I it must be. Here we go again. Let's make it It just got end. so dark in here. Make it end. I know. Didn't it just get so dark in here? Um. Anyway, but no, I was just like, I'm so, I must be so like infatuated and so in love with you because I've seen so many like good looking guys and I can appreciate, be like, oh, they're good looking. I'm like, but Josh is so much hotter. And it's not even about looks. I just think I'm so in love with like who you are. And like, that's one thing is like the type of person someone is goes so much further than their good looks because I feel like, don't you feel like when, since we've been together for so long, it's like you appreciate my good looks, but like, that's not what you're in love with. No, I love all the stupid little things. Yeah, like, like the goofy, the silly cringy, things we do. Yeah, little things. But like, obviously, yeah, you're sexy. And that's <laughs> an awesome plus side to everything. It's a bonus, you know, it's yeah, a, good it's little a bonus. big bonus. But what are your red flags? Or like, what would you say to like guys? Is she cheating on you? Yeah. I would say, yeah. Is she? It just, it just depends where you're at in your relationship. Is now all of a sudden she like really cares what she looks like when she's going to do stuff like without you and like she never did before so yeah. you're like oh that's a little weird or she's hanging out with like a new person but you don't know who this new person is and yeah no one else does either or like are her friends being weird with you too like yeah. her friends like almost know and almost feel bad for you but like don't want to like, be a bad friend to her mm-hmm. but 
you know, those are just some like out of the top of my head ones. Yeah. You know? Um, and obviously the phone stuff, huge. Like they, I feel like with social media is so big nowadays, and it wasn't even back then. Okay, like can you we could just... te- definitely tell through social media posting Instagram. too, like little thirst traps. Like it almost like you're seeking attention. I got beef like with Instagram. Else. Why? Why is there a thing as vanish mode? And like all these other sites are making it. They like, want. They want people to cheat. I'm like, why do they like? They preying on people's down on relationships downfalls. They I really think. are. We got a funny vanish mode story, but I don't know if we have time for it today. No. You want to get into it? It's really quick. It kind of, it kind of goes with what we're talking it about. It kind of so. goes along the lines of cheating. And okay, what can we I, said. Can I? Can yeah, I go for intro it. it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I got sent nudes. Yeah. From another girl mm-hmm. who also has a whole family, husband and children, and, and how I'm a married man. How did I? And I received those news on Instagram. Yep. Okay, so I'm sitting down one day, right, and I get a DM, um, and it has like a weird cir- circle by it. I've never used Vanish Mode before. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, like, I what? What's the purpose of Vanish Mode? I don't know. Probably this. Um, and so I click on it. I'm like, oh my gosh, Vanish Mode. Like, what is this? And I swipe up, and it goes away. And I'm like, what? And so I just like swiped up again, mm-hmm. and it came back. I was like, oh shit. This is not a good look You're like, for this me. This is weird. And like, I close my phone. I think about it, and so I call Katie B over. And I was like, I know who this is. I I've know heard stories. Yeah, but I You're... I like to think the best of people. So in my head, I'm like, there's no way those stories are true. And you said that she's um, you said that it was a photo she sent you. Like you could tell it was a photo. So he's like. What kind of yeah, photo no, would this it, girl it was be sending telling me, me to open the photo? And I obviously wasn't going to do that because, like, first of all, if I were to open the photo and then tell you about it after, like, that's a little, I feel like yeah. that puts me in a weird predicament. Like, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that might look a little so sus. So Josh asked me to come over and oh, he's like, this is like kind of inappropriate that she's texting me. This is what was sent. Like, I haven't talked to her and she sent me a picture and I just want to open it with you. I was so grateful that he asked me to open it together because it made me feel like I was a part of it and not he was hiding something from me. Yeah. And, and then I trusted everything he said. I wasn't hiding anything. I knew what it was. Vanish mode. It's a photo. Open it up. Sure enough, oh, it's a little nudie. A little. It was a big nudie. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's a big nudie. She had a big old... <laughs> she had a... Big ol' set of what, man? Tickle bitties? Tickle bitties. Catherine. <laughs> Catherine got more enjoyment out of it than I did. Bro, I don't know why, because we open it, and we're like, ah! we both, like, screamed and looked at each other, because, like, we just, like, didn't think she would actually do this, and, like, I don't really know her or I thought it was going to be, like, a seductive picture, <laughs> but, like, not just full yeah, on weird like the- pic of tits and all, but... <laughs> So it was, and then obviously she became blocked and all that. Mm-hmm. But, um, but that but yeah. was that was just there's a, time a vanish of, mode story. It's kind of funny. It was a time where I think Josh made a good decision and like asking or like telling me, and like I knew what it could have been, and I'd rather like if he came to me, I was like, oh yeah, some girl sent me nudes, and I'd be like, well, let me see, and then he's like, oh, I can't show you. It's well, yeah, gone. It it's on vanish mode. And it was vanish mode, and I was then, on vanish mode, and why was I on vanish mode? Yeah, and then, then I would be like, really what? sus, and then I start to sweat because I'm getting nervous because I'm not guilty, but now I feel guilty, and now I look guilty, <laughs> and then it's all bad, and my cheeks are getting red, and <laughs> you're guilty. <laughs> and then yeah, there yeah. we go. That's a good vanish mode story. Um, well, we are getting close to wrapping things up, but did you have anything you want to add? Because I have one more question to talk about. Uh, no, go ahead and ask your question. Okay. And I'm going to answer the same for you because I'm curious. I'm actually really curious. Do you ever think I was cheating and why? Like, did you ever in our relationship think I was cheating or like was certain or did you ever get any of those red flags specifically that we talked about? Yes. Yes. You thought I was cheating on you? You. So technically. You thought I was cheating on you? So technically, I don't know if it would be cheating because um, we weren't. You, we weren't dating yet, uh-huh. so it was kind of more well, so like. I mean, we were talking. We were talking. It would have just been like messed up. Okay, yeah. But it was, was very say, I mean, new. Like, I wasn't in. I wasn't in love no. with you 
And the only reason I thought that was because the reason I met you was from actually a girl. I was before I met Josh, I was like heavily into my like small group at the time and not saying like before I met you, like I'm not anymore. It's just like, that's like a more, it was like a single small group. So that's why I did that at church. Yeah. And um, I was really involved in that and I loved it. And I met this girl through my small group and I, I trusted her because we went to like church together. And I thought like, I don't know. I just thought like she had my best interest. I thought she was like, out for me so i was hanging out with her one day and i was like oh yeah i'm like talk, talking to josh bruckner and i was like so like giddy about him and so like excited she's like girl no don't talk to him and i was like why and she's like she's like he is such a player like do not do not waste your time with him to be fair though yeah you had hooked up might with her. not have been wrong because you hooked up with her but, but we, that's a whole podcast but, right but, but, there. But, like we're, we're gonna talk about that there there was a difference of you hooking up with people and you being a player i thought you were like trying to date all these girls oh uh, yeah so so here's the thing i'm excited for that one <laughs> that's gonna be a real but, juicy one but listen the reason i did not believe this girl at first i was so sad i wanted to cry i literally texted josh i was like we need to talk right now like i was like i was out on a boat with her and as soon as she said that i saw her took a snapchat she was drinking took a Snapchat of like literally like her cleavage and like dancing on the boat with like a bottle of vodka. I don't like and, the word cleavage. I don't know. Well, why. I didn't want to say like boot because it wasn't, she wasn't naked, <laughs> whatever, but like her whatever. boobs were all out. She was like, sh like literally so inappropriate, sends it directly to Josh. And I, she didn't know I was like over her shoulder and I, cause her phone was like in my face and she like sent it directly to Josh. And I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I thought this girl like genuinely had my best interest, but it shows like she was just, she really liked you. Like she still was into you. I don't know. And yeah. and um so I went to Josh and like we had like a little talk and then yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, what? And you started making out with my face. I remember that night. We started making out after, yeah. but we did but wanna know why? Because you told me the truth and you just were like, Okay, well, like we hooked up before and that's why she is like still. Yeah, I mean I had nothing like, to enemy. hide all those and girls. Then, I didn't know who you were. You didn't exist in my life. And I times. had I had like a little fling with someone in between the three years of not dating anyone, and that what led to a crazy story, which I don't know if I'll ever even tell. It's so bad, but oh um, yeah, I don't know if we can talk about I, that. But just, uh, I just got total. Woo, all I'm gonna say is I got I to forget about that. I I got to that blows my mind. Okay, just sh I got totally played by someone that was close to me. We're gonna have to do a podcast on this. At, at, I'm gonna at, like cut out some parts in yeah that one might need to be edited but, but Jesus, I forgot about that. I hate but, even talking about this. Yeah, me too. But anyway. I got totally played by someone who they weren't, they were playing me. Like I thought I was going to date them. Like I was played. That's to me as a player, wait, wait. you were just like, kind of like yeah. hooking up with girls and you weren't like telling them like, Oh, I want to date you. We'll get into that. that. We'll get into but, that. Just what, why did you think I was cheating or talk? You thought I was talking to somebody else because of that? Well, cause that she told, she was like, don't talk to him. Like he, and uh, I was like, he started, and then I was like, this is not happening to me again. I was like, I was so excited about him. And then like, he's talking to her probably too. And then I went to your fight and all these girls were here for you. And they would like all oh acted. Gosh, they all told uh, me not to talk to you. <laughs> Well, you're just telling me, you asked me for the truth. Oh, I know. But they were all there for Josh. And like, in for, in my opinion, I was like, I was like, oh my God, is he talking to all these girls? Am I like the dumbass who's like sitting here, like cheering no. him on? And I, I don't even think it was like that. It was just, it was no. like a, a community we had. But I didn't know any of your friends. I didn't yeah. know any situations. We had just started talking. So I didn't think you were like cheating, but I was like, oh, I'm being played. Yeah, fair enough. But then after I got to know you, I was like, I'm so grateful I didn't listen to all those girls and I just gave you the chance and the benefit of the doubt and I like saw things from my own eyes and like figured it out because I've never been happier because of it, you know? Yeah. Have Have you ever thought I cheated <laughs> on you? You know what? There was a time, I didn't think you were cheating on me, but like I was definitely like, I became suspicious. When was this? Long time ago. Remember New York when we were about to fly home? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't even remember the exact... I don't oh. even want to say. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to get too into it. But basically, like, she was looking up, like, a kid that, like, I knew she had talked to, like, like looking up his social media account. And, like, it was coincidental how I even yeah. saw that. And we were dating at the time. Yeah. And, like, she went to search someone up, and I saw his name, and I was like, yo, like, why are you searching his name? Like, that's kind of weird. And, and for and me. Like, and she's like, and then you, you kind of, like, whatever you said about it, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, no. 
Like I was like happening, but then it actually like was nothing bad. No, and I it totally wasn't. understood. And I was like, and you, you kind of overreacted. Like and idiot. to me, I was like, I, I, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. And I was like, oh, like you've never looked up someone that you've like been with or like anything like that. And, and he's like, no, you're right. I have like, he's like, I can't even lie. Like I have. And, and so to, so I don't know. It was just one of those like stupid little. It really like, wasn't a big deal at all. But like in my head, I made it such a big you deal. Did. And I was like, well, clearly like you don't like me because you're looking this guy up. Or it was so I stupid. I was so mad because we had just it had the so best stupid. time in New York. And then we got home and we, like we, it was like our first like little fight. It was like such fresh dating too that I think we were dating for like a month. You also like said months. in the beginning that you were a little insecure, not insecure, but you were very, you were so scared to date me because, yeah, because you had been like, so heartbroken bro, and I'm not trying to get cheated on. And I told yeah. them, I was like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do that. Like I was yeah. not trying to fall in love. Yeah. You literally were like, love. I don't want to fall in love. Like I it's didn't scary. Do it. Yeah. And I thought you were too good to be true. And I you still say that to this day. Maybe I am. I guess so. You <laughs> must be. <laughs> But you know what's not too good to be true is this podcast. So oh make goodness. sure you guys subscribe. You know, follow us on Apple Podcasts yep. and Spotify. Give, Give us a that review. good review, you guys. We appreciate you guys listening. Hopefully you can share this with someone that this can help or maybe give them some comfort in their relationship yeah. or Maybe just let them learn from our mistakes. I mean, uh, yeah. or life lessons. And I that, don't even consider them mistakes. That's lessons. what we really want to like express to you guys during this podcast. Is it's not like to be like, oh, my ex did this or my whatever did this and this. And like my life is so hard. It's like to share our experiences and how we got over them and why we think that it was like we're grateful that it happened, you know? Yeah, exactly. So we want to say thank you guys for watching. This yep. is your cup of tea. And boy, was it sizzling it was sizzling. today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway. There is so much that I've learned that we have to talk about. I know. People just don't know. There's people, a lot. There's a lot. Like, I'm like, we put our lives on YouTube every day. Not every day anymore, but we used to every day for like two years. And mm -hmm. there is still so much people do not know. Like, I, I that's why I never wanted to start a podcast. I was like, people already know everything about us. I'm like, I was like holy they don't, shit, though. they like, don't know anything. They don't know, like, little stories. They don't know, there's like. There's so much, like. Uh, I have some get into. fire stories I want to tell you guys. Maybe we might do it next podcast, but. I got some crazy stories to tell you guys. Yeah. And anyway, this is going to be the end of the podcast. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. Yep. This is your couple of tea. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye and guys. <laughs>